What are y'all doing there? As we all know, it's already 2018. Here at the stress of Daniel. Always thinking of something new to work on. And then the house here. We've got this fish tank. And as we scan around here, we still haven't seen any fish. There is two fish in there, and they like to hide. Silvertail shark and a Pacostomus. But of course, tonight, they're both hiding. You now I see a little bit of a trail there, pooper trail. So I'm hoping they, oh, oh, look, look, look. Oh, it ran away. There it is. See? Hiding in there is the tail. Now, I have two fish in this tank. I like to set an aquaponic system up in home. Aquaponic system. I've got some more expanded clay left. Big chunk of ginger that got my local save on foods. And, uh,. And the few things that I've listened to, they say plant it in December, it'll be ready at the end of the season. Well, we're already in January now, Daniel, come on. But it's stress to Daniel. Just keep carrying on because, hey, they say aquaponics, it grows a lot quicker. So maybe by the sometime 2020, the old ginger might be growing. But I don't know. Now I was thinking to myself, what would happen if you grew ginseng in an aquaponics? Would it still be contaminated after the time that the ginseng was done growing? Would you no longer be able to grow in the aquaponics? Or could you just flush the aquaponics and then grow ginseng again? But anyways, any aquaponics ginseng growers out there, ginseng growers, ginseng BC, ginseng Canada, ginseng the world... Please reply. Ginseng, ginseng, ginseng. If I can grow ginseng in aquaponics and then grow ginseng again, let me know. Because that'd be cool. Aquaponics.